Um, we just talked a little about the music scene in Ukraine and how it, it works. You told me uh, before the song that uh, um, there, isn't re there aren't really people who uh, buy CDs. So how does it, how does it work? As is, uh, just uh, let me tra uh, translate. Es gibt also um, eine äh, kleine, kleine Hindernisse in der ukrainischen Musikindustrie. Es gibt niemanden, der Platten kauft. Uh, das Ganze funktioniert anders. Das haben sie mir gerade uh, während des Songs erklärt. So how does it, how does it really work, the live concerts? Uh, how does it work in Ukraine? Well, um, the, there are different ways of uh, making money from concerts in, mm. in Kiev. So we're not talking about any sales because there aren't any and never were. Mm. Uh, so, so earlier the people used cassettes to copy yeah, music? Uh, if, you, if you wanted to buy a, a good, decent album of some famous bands, you just had to go to a pirate bazaar and uh, buy one there. So there were no laws and nothing to okay. protect the artists. So, so only are, concerts? Only concerts, yeah. So uh, there are uh, the biggest concerts are on the main stages on some kind of holidays in of city of country, and uh, there are many bands. But people who come to these concerts, they're not fans. All fans, they're just people who like to uh, celebrate the. Okay. Events. It's for party goers. Yeah, but lots of lots of uh, fans come also because they know it's free. It's for everybody. You know? And so that's free too. So yeah. how, how does yeah. anybody earn any money? Uh, because of the, for example, of advertisements. Ah. And so there are some concerts, as, as Mark said, uh, private ones. Uh, but they are mostly for pop bands, I think, uh -huh. because. Uh, Loud music, nobody, not, not everybody but, but, but like what it. are these private concerts? Also Sie erzählen gerade, dass man, wie gesagt, für, für Musik äh, am besten nichts ausgibt, wenn man Musikfan ist, sondern auf dem Piratenbazar geht und sich da die CDs bzw. früher Kassetten kauft, wo das alles raufkopiert ist für ein Appel und Nein. Und äh, Konzerte, ähm, da gibt es die großen Konzerte, die im Sommer stattfinden, so in so Party-Locations und da ist es aber auch für umsonst und da gehen die Leute hin, weil sie feiern wollen. Und dann gibt es sowas, äh, was wir hier wahrscheinlich eher weniger kennen, nämlich Privatkonzerte. So how do these uh, private concerts work? Who Who organizes those, those concerts? Well, it's like, um, you know, when a big company, they make a party for their personnel. For the employees? Yeah, for the employees. So they get together, they play some kinds of games, so they feel like more, for more of a team. Ah, okay. And this is uh, when they do this party. It's like very expensive, the huge place, you know, they rent it. And they invite, mostly it's for pop bands, especially girls band pop band so okay. it's like you know like it's a, motivational dance music party music yeah some, something okay. but, but they, they have to be famous they okay. have to be rotated on tv but for artists it's like uh, in ukraine it's one of the main revenues for so. artists uh, because there is no fluently working system in city sales in licensing and stuff like that uh, that is one of the main uh, mm, Revenues for artists, and we we were playing at some of the gigs, like that private gigs, where and can can you really live off that then? If you have like like sure. two or three gigs uh, in a year, or, or you or can more? you can be quite rich of that, um, and not actually too rich, but but like yeah, you can live, you can survive, you can like be as a band yeah uh -huh. and it's not more, go to work it's more than you get on your usual f gigs for fans and we didn't want to be in that kind of system okay. we always played for fans most so is that one of the reasons that you said okay we're going to leave this country we're going to try somewhere else where you can play concerts and live off fans actually we did try in russia first yeah i yeah. think i think there was actually sorry the reason yeah we didn't want the future as a band like this yeah. we wanted to have fans we want to have to have fan base we actually don't like yeah it's okay to do it like once or twice like yeah. in a while but you didn't want to build a career on no private we concerts. didn't want to do it like like every month or or just just to survive just to live you know yeah. but of course you should do gigs all the time in ukraine if you want to yeah. to survive and it's as possible an artist. and it's possible you you uh, you have uh, normal concerts as well in in ukraine so yeah it's possible same, of course time. of course but you can't live of it all right no you can 
if you are a great artist and people follow you. Of okay. course you can. Okay. So you yeah. have to be really famous. But then. that's re yeah, you have to be really famous. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two ways for for band to to have like if uh, either you have to be very famous or play private gigs. Okay. Also man so. muss entweder sehr sehr berühmt sein oder Privatkonzerte spielen, dann funktioniert das ja. als Band. Sie haben es auch in äh, Russland versucht jetzt hier vor Fanica äh, oder äh, Marrakesch, äh, aber sind inzwischen jetzt in Berlin gelandet und äh, versuchen es hier. Der Workshop auf der A2N hat ihnen sehr geholfen. Haben sie viel an der Produktion jetzt gearbeitet und demnächst kommt dann auch äh, das erste Album raus. So, uh, the, uh, your album, when is, when is it going to be released? I think it's going to be released later this year and before that we will release the EP of four songs as a teaser to the album mm -hmm. to get th things going, to get people know about us and then we'll, we're going to release the album but it's I would say like 70% complete at the moment mm -hmm. because we are working in one of Berlin studios mm -hmm. of our friend Dean Rosenzweig. He's a painter and musician from Berlin. We are working at his studio and it's going to be a tra 10-track album later this year. Okay. Just follow us on our website and you will know when it's out. Also, es kommt in diesem Jahr noch raus, äh, wird zehn Titel äh, beinhalten. Sie arbeiten mit einem Berliner Künstler und äh, Musiker zusammen, der das mit ihnen äh, zusammen dann aufnimmt und, und mischt. 70 Prozent fertig, haben sie schon gesagt. Ähm, das ist auf jeden Fall mehr als der Berliner Flughafen, würde ich sagen. Von daher werden wir die, das Album vorher hören, bevor die ersten Flugzeuge fliegen vom BER. Das kann, kann man wohl unter Garantie sagen. Ähm, good luck. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you very much for reminding us. We're uh, going to listen to uh, one last song. Is it going to be on the album, The Human All to Human? Yeah. It's one of the songs. Definitely. Alles klar. Yeah. Auch dieser Song hier ist äh, dann mit drauf. Und ihr braucht natürlich äh, auch einfach nur an Zeit weiterhören. Ihr werdet auf jeden Fall noch mehr von Vorfonica mitkriegen. Vorfonica aus der Ukraine, Bye. aus Kiew, Tschüss. hier in Berlin. Ciao, ciao. Okay.